Canine parvoviral enteritis is caused by the canine parvovirus type 2, belonging to the genus Protoparvovirus in the family Parvoviridae, a non-enveloped single-stranded DNA virus. Susceptible species include many members of the order Carnivora, though in most of these species, infection is subclinical. Included in this order are members of the family Canidae. Young dogs less than 6 months of age are most susceptible, especially when they have not been vaccinated. Side note, it is called canine parvovirus 2 because there was a previously described canine parvovirus 1, now classified in a different genus, canine Boca virus, and also called canine minute virus, which we will not go into in this video. Canine parvovirus 2 has multiple strains some of which, such as CPV2A, 2B, and 2C, can cause a disease similar to feline panleukopenia in cats. Transmission of this highly contagious virus occurs fecal-orally. The virus will be present in the feces of dogs after 4 to 5 days of infection, which may be before the development of clinical signs, while sick, and up to more than a week after clinical recovery. Pathophysiology Viral entry occurs oronasally, after which, viral replication happens in the pharyngeal lymphoid tissue, with subsequent viremia and hematogenous spread. Incubation period generally lasts between 5 to 7 days. Being a parvovirus, it has a tropism for actively dividing cells. These are the small intestinal crypt epithelium, lymphopoietic and hematopoietic organs, and the myocardial tissue of developing puppies. The pup initially develops a fever as its body tries to fight off the infection. With the small intestinal crypt epithelium destroyed, there is villous atrophy, resulting in malabsorptive diarrhea. Intestinal hemorrhage also occurs, resulting in the characteristic bloody diarrhea in parvo cases. The mucosal barrier may also be disrupted allowing gut bacteria to invade and potentially cause septicemia. Vomiting also occurs, and together with the bloody diarrhea, can rapidly lead to dehydration. The pup becomes lethargic from the protracted vomiting and will not want to eat. Destruction of the progenitor cells in the lymphoid tissue leads to lymphopenia and neutropenia, though much less severe than that caused by feline panleukopenia. The rapid proliferation of the cardiac myocytes during the first week of life makes extremely young puppies and those infected transplacentally susceptible to myocarditis, most especially when they are born to bitches without antibodies against canine parvovirus. This is in contrast to the cerebellar hypoplasia that occurs in feline panleukopenia. The myocarditis leads to myocardial necrosis resulting in acute congestive heart failure with accompanying pulmonary edema and slash or ascites. Pups may die suddenly without showing any clinical signs. Fortunately, this is a rare occurrence since most bitches possess antibodies from vaccination or natural exposure, which they then pass on to their young. Diagnosis The distinctive foul metallic parvo smell in puppies is often suggestive but not in and of itself diagnostic. History of a young, unvaccinated, or incompletely or improperly vaccinated dog is suspect. Immunoassay kits that detect canine parvovirus antigen in feces are widely available and commonly used in veterinary clinics. Other diagnostic methods include the hemagglutination test, electron microscopy, virus isolation, and polymerase chain reaction. Treatment involves fluid therapy and supportive care. A balanced crystalloid solution should be given to address the dehydration and electrolyte disturbances. Antibiotics are indicated for the opportunistic secondary bacterial infections brought about by the neutropenia, as well as the weakened gut mucosal barrier. Antiemetics are indicated for the vomiting. Antidiarrheals, however, are not advised because we do not want the intestinal contents to remain in the gut where they increase the risk of bacterial invasion in the compromised mucosa. Prevention 
vaccination is done with a modified live virus vaccine. This must be administered by a licensed veterinarian to ensure proper vaccine handling and administration at the appropriate age and intervals for the growing pup or dog. Dogs suspected or confirmed to have canine parvovirus must be isolated to prevent spread to other animals. Their living areas must be cleaned and disinfected with at least 1 is to 30 dilution household bleach, peroxygen disinfectants, or potassium peroxymonosulfate. To summarize, canine parvovirus is a non envelope, single stranded DNA virus capable of infecting many members of the order Carnivora, but those in the family Canidae are most susceptible. It is highly contagious and is transmitted fecal orally. Being a member of the family Parvoviridae, it has a preference towards actively dividing cells, such as those in the small intestinal crypt epithelium, lymphopoietic and hematopoietic organs, and the myocardial tissue of developing puppies. The parvo smell is often suggestive, but diagnosis is confirmed by the detection of canine parvovirus antigen through immunoassay kits and other diagnostic tools. Treatment involves fluid therapy and supportive care.